We're on to example two now. And this one says increase $90 by 25%, then decrease the result by 25%. Now, a lot of people would see a question like this and they would think, oh, the answer is $90 if you increase it by 25% and then decrease it by 25% it'll take you back to the original amount. Now, it's actually not going to work out quite like that. So what we'll do is we'll do it using this method. If you think about it, if I increase by 25%, that means you go 100% plus 25%, which gives you 125%. And it also wants you to decrease by 25%, which means this time we're going to subtract the 25%, which gives us 75%. So our two percentages, the increase is um, 125, and our decrease, or 125%, our decrease is 75%. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each percentage and I'm going to divide them both by 100 straight away because in our formula we are told to divide our percentages by 100. All right, and we're actually going to do that in just one step. That'll give us 1.25 for this one and for the second one it'll give us 0 0.75. Now what we're going to do is we're going to basically do this whole question in, in one single swoop, one one step. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to take our $90 and we're going to increase this result by 25%. And we're going to do that by multiplying it by 1.25. Because when you multiply by 1.25, you are increasing by 25%. And then we want to decrease it by 25%. So I'm going to multiply it by 0.75. Let's see what we get. And I've got $84.38. So what you notice is that we actually end up going less than the original $90.